Hey there, welcome to Curtis Stage Video Tutorials. This tutorial is on Dreamweaver Creative Cloud Part 1. This is getting started in Dreamweaver. Uh, a couple things we're going to do today, connect to the Files panel, we're going to define a site, we're going to talk about the workspace, saving your new page, we're going to talk about what an index file is, first page of your website, and we're going to also talk in this tutorial about duplicating a page. So this is a very basic getting started uh, tutorial in Dreamweaver. This is part one. Part two, we'll start talking a little bit about the HTML structure. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I've opened Dreamweaver up and basically I've got nothing going on here. I don't have a file open yet. The very first thing I want to do when I set up Dreamweaver or I'm getting into Dreamweaver, I'm sitting down at the computer and I want to start working on a website or a web page the very first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm connected to the files panel because sometimes you're sitting on your own computer and you're always connected to the right folder but sometimes you're sitting on a classroom computer and somebody else may have been sitting on that computer and they're connected to their folder and you sit down and you'll be connected to their folder so the very first thing we want to do is we want to go up top to the top bar where it says site and we want to say new site or manage sites. So if you already have a folder on this computer, a site defined on the computer you're sitting on, you would just go to manage site. I'm going to go to new site right now and this dialog box is going to come up. If I've never defined a site on this computer before, and I'll go through the other uh, way to do this as well, but if I've never defined a site on this computer before, this is where I would start. So I'd probably put my first name in here or whatever project I was working on. If this was a, a for a web client, then of course I'd put the name of the client in there. And this would be for like a classwork folder. So I'm going to put my name, first and last name, and then the word classwork there. And this is how I can keep track of all my files that are for a class situation. Again, if I was building a site for, let's say, ESPN, I would probably put the name of the client there and maybe some more information about what that site was called. But for right now, we're just going to put our first and last name. And then for me, I'm going to put classwork so I know that this is a classwork folder. Now, I want to go define where that site uh, folder is by clicking that little button right there I'm gonna go on the side now if you're working with me at Los Angeles Mission College you know about our shared drive right here we have a shared folder that everybody's connected to of course if you're not at Los Angeles Mission College and you're just watching this out in the internet world then you're gonna find a folder on your computer to store all your Dreamweaver files in so you can name that whatever you want, probably websites, like maybe something like sites, like this folder right here. If you're at Mission College where I teach, then you're going to be going to a folder called Johnny the Geek. That's our share drive. And then you're going to find your folder that's been defined inside that folder. And, and inside that folder, we're really organized here, we have a folder called Classwork. So I'm going to use that folder. You can see that if I was on a project, for the class, I'd be in that folder. And we'll do that later in the semester, of course. So classwork, and I'm going to click choose, and now I'll click save. And what's great about this is Dreamweaver is now connected to my folder on that computer or that network drive. So here we go, we've got our files panel right here. I'm going to pull this off so you can kind of see it on its own. I've got my files panel here, and I can view this folder a little bit better by clicking right in between here, watch, and I can pull that over and I can see the address of this file folder structure here. I can also hover my mouse over the top of that and see where it's going to. You really want to make sure that you're in your folder when you sit down on Dreamweaver for either the client you're working on or a class project or classwork that you're working on. So let's say you're sitting down on a computer where you already have a files panel uh, that is connected to your folder on your network drive or on your computer. Well, we can simply just go right up here to site. We can go to manage site instead of new site. So I'll go to manage site and you can see that I have a whole list of folders in here that I could possibly be connected to. And there's the folder that we just created earlier this is the folder and if I double click that I'll get that same dialog box that I got up a little while ago and I can go and just make sure that I'm connected to that space 
So I'm going to cancel that. We know we're connected, but you can see there's a lot of websites that I work on here or class projects that I work on, and they're all these sites are all defined in here, and this is where I can manage them. You can delete sites. So, you know, there, you can go through here and you can delete sites by hitting the little minus button. You can go and edit the site that you're currently working on. You can go in here and duplicate sites. So there's a lot of little things you can do. And then here's that new site, just like what we got up here in the site, new site. We've also got that button right here where we can define a new site right here within the manage site folder. I'm going to click done because I'm not going to really do anything with this. I still want to be just in my Curtis stage classwork folder. The next thing I want to do is I want to define a workspace. So I'm going to go up top to Window. I'm going to go to Workspace. And if you're a beginning Dreamweaver person, and this tutorial is for you, we would like to be in beginner uh, workspace mode. So I'm going to click that. And it's going to organize my panels here into beginner mode. And you should see three panels kind of tabbed in this little window right over here, this panel set. Uh, the insert panel, the CSS designer, and the files panel that we were just in. There's also a DOM panel too. We don't technically need that on a beginning level uh, right now. I'm going to pull this out and click the little X and get rid of that. And now you can see that my panels are set right here. One cool thing to note in Adobe does this with all of their software programs. You can manipulate this and, and make it the way you want it to. So I can switch these panel orders. I can put files first. I can put CSS designer second. I can also make this a little smaller. I'm on a laptop, so I need a little bit more room. So I just hover my mouse right there. I can also click these two little arrows over here and collapse this. So it gives me even more space to work in this, in this view. You also notice that I have the properties panel down below right here. So this is where we're getting started to work. Now let's make our first file here for this classwork project. I'm going to go to File, New, and we're going to create a new HTML document. You're going to get this dialog box that comes up. It's going to say New Document, HTML, and the HTML5 is our document type. And I'm just going to leave this just like it is. I'm going to be in None and HTML5 document type and click Create. Once I do this, I've got a new blank document to work with. You can see that I'm in code view and there's split view possibility. There's live view where I would see it, what it would maybe look like in a browser. And then there's design view. Um, I like to be in split view for right now when we're getting started so you can see both code and the visual of what you're working on. And I like to be in design view right off the bat instead of live view. We'll get into both what those do in a later tutorial, but this is the view I like to be in. Before we do anything else, we have to save this file. You cannot start working in Dreamweaver with an untitled document. You can see that right up here in this tab. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. And you can see that it gives me this dialog box here, ready to start typing right here. I do want to keep that .html, the file extension. Otherwise, the browser and my computer won't know what kind of document this is. You'll notice that it already wants to save it in my classwork folder. Awesome. I'm going to save this very first page in our, in our folder as index.html. Now, index or default.html are the two chosen um, kind of terms for the web that would define a very first page on our website. So if you title this index, a browser knows to look through your server folder and find a file called index.html and that will be your first page on your website. So basically it's like your home page or your first page or page number one, but we don't use the word home page. We don't use page one. We use index. You want to make sure that index.html is all lowercase. There's no spaces. There's no underscores. Nothing here that, except for what I've got right there. It's going into our folder. I can click this little button bigger to see this folder, you know, and to see my, you know, kind of lineup here of where I've got this thing if I need to, right? If I was going to switch it to another folder, but I'm in the right spot. I'm going to click Save. And as soon as I do that, you'll see that the tab in Dreamweaver switches to index.html. Also, if I look in my Files panel, there we go. We've got the index file right there in the Files panel. 
Now we're not doing anything to this page in this tutorial, but I do want to show you how to duplicate a page that we've maybe worked on before we leave today's tutorial. So I want to click right here on index.html in my files panel. And if I want to make a duplicate, like to create a page number two based off this page, again, I wouldn't do this right now normally because I would have some design in here first, but I just want to show you this. I'm going to control click on a Mac or a PC and right on this icon right here. So you see the icon right there, not the word, but the icon. I'm going to control click, go down to edit, and you'll see in this pullout, duplicate. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut, command D. I'm going to click that and you'll see a duplicate copy right here. I'm going to click to rename this. So watch how I click and wait a second. And it's gray there for me, highlighted, and now I can call this page two. Notice my naming convention in here. It's all lowercase, there's no space, uh, no weird characters, .html. I could, if I wanted to, put an underscore or a dash, right? I could do either one of those. Just be aware that's what someone would have to type in in a web browser if they were going directly to that page. Chances are they're not going to type the, that page directly into the web browsers, but you can separate out uh, no blank spaces in web design at all. So we do not want to have our page title be page two with a blank space in between. So if you do need to separate out the word page from two, again a dash or an underscore and that would work perfectly. All right, so that is part one of getting started in Dreamweaver. I want to thank you for watching and look forward to part two. This has been a Curtis Stage video tutorial and we'll see you next time.